crying because I've got no filler. Well, never mind. <laughs> Do not look glum. For see, here comes your new stepmum. She's not my mum, she's my stepmum. We ain't decided what it is. The mother speaks. <laughs> the mother speaks. She went. Now what's all this? With a Georgie accent, she speaks. Yes, yes. <laughs> Just <laughs> Get up and help your sisters, miss. And now here come the ugly sisters. A pair of most obnoxious blisters. <laughs> <laughs> Now, cinders, do me up behind. <laughs> Don't worry about her buttons, do my hair! <laughs> so, cinders hurries here and there until they're ready to depart. She's not moving! <laughs> do their hair, do their hair. Um, uh, and Mum and Ugly Sisters start to leave for Good Prince Charming's ball. But Cinderella, feeling small, says, Dear stepmother, can I go? No! <laughs> <laughs> and now they're gone, poor Cinder's cries. And now they're gone, poor Cinder's cries. Here we go. <laughs> and holds her apron to her eyes. But while she's wiping up her tears, her fairy godmama appears. <laughs> Now it's your chance. I'm your fairy godmama. I wish that I could join the dance. Oh, I wave my magic wand. Needs a bit more, I think. <laughs> hey presto! I'll make your ragged kitchen dress go. Replace it with an evening gown. <laughs> Rats and mice. And Cinders gets them in a trice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a pumpkin! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a rat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wave my magic wand once more. And up there rises from the floor a coach and horses all complete. With coachman, Cinders takes her seat. It's going to be a squash. <laughs> but wait, the fairy is not done. The ball goes on till half past one. But don't stay after twelve o'clock, or else your shoes and lovely frock will change to rags. Now don't forget. We don't have a risk assessment on that. <laughs> and off they go, and I will bet that you all think it's rather strange they drive right through the kitchen range. Yeah. <laughs> but I've seen stranger sights than these, so end scene one. So curtains, please. Right. Scene two, there's no interval, you know. <laughs> so we'll just continue with the show. The scene will look the same as ever, but please imagine, if you're clever, uh, that we are at Prince Charming's house. And hark! A dreamy waltz by straps. Dance. No, it might be a I'm still a pumpkin. <laughs> See all the happy dancers all beguiling. All except the prince are smiling. 
He I, is alone amidst the world. I'm gloomy because I've got no girl. Oh. Well, cheer up, Prince, because two beauties... Well, where, where am I going? <laughs> <laughs> well, cheer up, Prince, two beauties come. It's Grace and Lily with their mum. <laughs> mum? Your Royal Highness really ought to dance with Grace, my eldest daughter. Tonight, no one shall dance with me. I've, I've uh, got a touch of housemaid's knee. That isn't true, but do you blame him? The ugly sisters, just to shame him, dance with each other. Oh, my. <laughs> I think we've had enough of that. <laughs> but who is this that now appears? The guests all give three hearty cheers. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hooray! I cannot say what makes them happy. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> They've seen the prince. Just watch that man. He's positively, truly bitten. Not to say completely smitten. Sweet ladies, just one dance I crave. She will be hussy. Saucy nerds. <laughs> With you, dear prince, I'll dance till dawn. Oh. Kiss me round the palace till dawn. I wonder who this girl can be. Well, I don't know. And Lord away! Perhaps she is the queen disguised. She's overdressed. She's oversized. She's undersized. <laughs> Striking twelve, I'm afraid. Dear Cinderella, Cinderella run, run away. away. But as she leaves, one size, one shoe, size four, falls clattering on the ballroom floor. The prince runs forward, picks it up. He says, I will not drink a cup of tea or eat my morning kipper until I find the person who owns this slipper. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> So now we leave this merry throng and draw the curtains, not for long, but just to indicate to you this is the ending of scene two. And now for the last act of our play. We are back at Cinder's house next day. What's this? The sisters all alone? Can it be hangovers they moan? <laughs> just rehearsing for the morning. <laughs> Oh, my poor head. Oh, my poor Tom! <laughs> I wish I hadn't drunk that rum. I wish I hadn't had that jelly. I've got a pain inside my... Jelly! Byron, words with Pete's defend us. But no words that rhyme with jelly send us. But here come Mother with some news that ought to chase away those blues. The prince's coach on the parade is... Oh, oh, tell, tell the, the prince to go, ladies! <laughs> He's come to try the slip and ducky. Why shouldn't one of you be lucky? The trumpet sounds, the cannons roar. <laughs> the prince is knocking out the door. Like, oh, God, make way for Prince Charming! <laughs> <laughs> Then enter Prince with slipper glass. <laughs> All the ladies at the dance can try the slipper. What a chance for these two girls. <laughs> Come on, Lily, take my shoe off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be silly. Too old. You're too fat! <laughs> now, ladies, that's enough of that. 
toss up first, now you call Grace. I'll say it's head. It is. Just place your foot upon the prince's cushion. See if the slipper can ye see if the slipper you can push on. <laughs> Alas, your heel is much too large. Oh no, hurry up! Squeeze this more! <laughs> oh no, you won't. It's plain that you are not the owner of this shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Into the slipper, it must go. No, so badly. Your line. I'll cut it off. Never wince. Oh no, I'm very sorry, Prince. At least I mean I'm glad to state you're saved from an unpleasant fate, for neither margarine nor knife can make these dames be your wife. <laughs> I'm a pumpkin! <laughs> no! <laughs> then let us go and try elsewhere. But, fair damsel. <laughs> She was not at your ball, I fear. The prince is not to be denied. It fits. <laughs> he tried for hours to find his bride, and speaking between me and him, I think he's getting hungry too. For he has vowed he will not eat until he has found his lady meat. Well, whatever it fits. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a cheek! <laughs> Prince and Cinders cannot speak except to say to one another, At last we've found each, each other. other. <laughs> <laughs> they are so happy they don't spy. The fairy godmama is nigh. Come, fairy, father time is pressing. Give this happy pair your blessing. A happy life to both, and, and may all your troubles fly away. <laughs> <laughs> Our play must end. The story's done. I hope you like this tale of fun. Our time is short, and we must fly. So, from all of us, goodbye! <laughs>